To continue our coverage of the Dakota Marker game, we had KDLT's Brandon Green with the fans and maybe even grabbing some food. With everything that transpired before the game, you may have forgot that this is the ultimate football rivalry between North Dakota and South Dakota. The fans surely didn't forget. And this one will be settled on the football field between the Jackrabbits and the Bison. Yummy. Or maybe on the grill. Before the game takes place, it's Jackrabbits' tradition to have a tailgate and to have some friendly trash talk with Bison fans. Show out, kind of make a name for ourselves, show we're the better Dakota in a way. Lack of fear. We have nothing to be worried about down here. Enemy territory, it's never been a problem. These NDSU fans have been coming to Bison games for over two decades, and Keith Pulaski was even a part of the 1990 Bison Football National Championship team and has seen this rivalry flourish into a national stage appearance. You see this game, this is a very intense game, means a lot to the guys. Both teams want to carry that one home for pride. Dana Dykehouse Stadium is going to have over 19,000 fans in the stands for the first time ever. And with game day here earlier in the day, this was an experience neither fan base wanted to miss. Anyhow, so I think it's really cool, the marker game and all that it represents So between the two states. I'm glad that we're all here to it's go for the Jacks! It's going to be a great day for young and old, yeah. everybody to just support the Jacks. I said all I had to. Uh, NDSU. You're going to be out here, but you guys are going to lose 21 to 33. Ooh. <laughs> hey, they said it, not me. And whoever wins this game today gets bragging rights for a year in that ever so coveted Dakota marker. In Brookings, Brandy Green, KDLT News.